guys, welcome back to Karate DSL from Zero to Hero. And in this lesson, we will talk about assertions. This is a Karate documentation, and we will talk about this section today. Here you have a quick links, match, match contains, match only, match any, and we will discuss the use cases for these commands. In the beginning of our class, we already did a few assertions for our get calls, get all tags, and get 10 article. So it was a first glance on the Karate assertions. Karate is very, very powerful in making JSON assertions. This is where actually Karate shines. And you can create very flexible kinds of assertion, no matter how complex and how big your JSON response. And this is one of the features that I like very, very much. So in this lesson, we will add a few more assertions to our tags and our articles, and I will show you how flexibly you can do it. So today we'll work with these two scenarios. So let's put the debug on the top of our feature file and let's run just these two scenarios to verify that it's working from our previous lesson. Okay, build is failed. Let's try to find out why. So it's expected to find cars. Reason actual value do not contain expected. So I believe it's looking for this car but cannot find. Okay. Let's open Postman and see what is the value for our tags array. Yeah, so it's changed from our previous lesson. It doesn't have cars or what else do we have? Cars or baby, it doesn't have those values. Let's pick any other values just to make our test passing. Let's take test, put it right here. And let's take, for example, dragons dragons okay let's run this test okay now it's working fine so let's step back and look into the code we already have match response text contains and karate is trying to make assertion that test and dragons values are actually a part of this array and as we see they actually are uh, we also have syntax with exclamation sign that means that not contains uh, truck and we don't have truck so this assertion is also passed. What other combination contains has? So we can add another assertion for example and match response tags contains any value that we might expect. For example, let's add value fish, dog, some other value that is inside of our, say, this SIDA that actually exists in our array. So what Karate will do with this assertion, it will verify that any of these three values are part of the assertion array which is tags. So let's run this test. Okay, and build is success. And if I will remove this value and keep only these two, Karate will make assertion. Karate will look for these two values in the array. And because none of these values were found, it failed. So expected fish or dog and reason actual value does not contain any expected. Same way you can do assertions with not contains, right? So response test does not contain any of this. So and Karate will verify that, that any of these three values not part of our tags array. Okay, another example and match response tags contains only. So this kind of assertion will verify that only certain values that you provided are the part of this array. So if your actual response will have other different values that are not part of this array, your test will fail. So this is what kind of combinations for contains, does not contains, contains any and contains only you may use. So what else? Equal and not equal. So in this example, we verify that articles count equal to 500. So let's go back to the postman. This is our articles count. 
make a request and if we collapse our response there so we see that it's articles array and articles count in equal to 500 and if we want to verify that articles count does not equal to certain value we just provide like this does not equal let's say to 100 and we run this test and build is successful. You can also make assertion not only for the certain values in your response, but you can as well verify the objects of your response. So our response is the object with the two keys, articles and articles count with value 500. So we can write assertion to verify this kind of uh, response. So match response, and we expect that it equals to the object with articles that is array and it also should have articles count with value 500 and let's run this test and build failure let's look into this so the test is failed expected articles array articles 500 reason all keys didn't match expected and unmatched keys articles count so it was not able to find this and the reason because i misspell tickles articles count okay let's run it one more time And build is successful. And if we change this value to 400, let's say, let's run it. And build failed. Why? Expected 400 and actual is 500. That's the reason. Failure in the line number 25. So as you see, we can verify not only the values, but the objects as well. The next example, let's say we want to verify that article was created in current year, like 2020, that this string contains a certain part of the value we are looking for. How to do that is very easy. And match response articles. We will grab the first article, then create it add contains and we are looking for value 20 20 let's run it cool it's working and if we change to 2021 that our string does not contain that value actually yep test is failed and because of that that this string expected 2021 but it doesn't have it another example let's say we want to test for our favorite count at least one article has one favorite count so we have zero for this one we have one for this one one for this one zero for this one so we want to kind of loop through all the articles and verify that at least one of the article has the value one how to do that Again, very simple. We type something like and match response articles. But instead of providing the exact index of the article, we provide star like a wildcard. So Karate will look into the each object of this array. And then we want to grab uh, the key, which is favorite count dot favorite count. And we expect that at least any of the values or at least one of the values should contain one. Let's run this. Okay, build success. And if I change it to five, let's see what error will we have. Okay, build failure and why? Because our actual value are 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 and 1. But we expected 
phi. That's why it's failed. Another example. Let's say we want to verify that at least one of the biographies is null. So what we can do is a similar way how we did before. Uh, like, let me copy this, paste it here. So what would be the path? Is articles, then author, and then bio, right? So author.bio contains now, so Karate will look into all articles and authors and biographies and one of them should contain null. Yeah, but sometimes your path to certain values may be very long in the giant response. So you can use a wildcard, just two dots like that. And Karate will look into your response and will find all BIO keys in your object, no matter where they are located, and will make assertions that at least one of them contain null. And one more example. Let's say that we want to verify that this following flag for each author is set to false for each author, not just contains how we did before, but we want to verify that it's actually false for each object. How to do this is very simple. We can grab this key and match each response dot dot following equals to false. That's it. Run this test. Okay, I know where the error. I made a misspell over here. Match each. Run it again. And build is success. And if I will run true, let's see what error will we have. So the build is failed because when it got the very first value from our array, actual value was false, but we actually expected true. And Karate didn't go through the looping to other objects because once the first value is failed, it just doesn't make sense to move forward. So let's change it back to false. So, and I believe this is pretty much it for the keyword match at this lesson. So let's quickly summarize. In Karate, you can use keywords contains and does not contain to verify if your object or if your array has certain values. Also contains has contains any and contains only. Contains any verify any values of your expected result in the assertion object. Contains only verify only those values so they kind of should match. You can verify the structure of the objects as well like that. You can also verify the part of the string if you need. If you will provide a star instead of the index of your array, Karate will look into the all values of your array and pull the values for each value of the array. So you can use a shortcut to get the values from your object, like providing dot dot, and this example is bio. So Karate will find this key no matter where is it located inside of your object. And you can iterate through all values of your assertion array, in this example is following values, to verify that each of this value is equal to false. All right, thank you guys and see you in the next lesson.